What is going on everybody and welcome on into the video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how you can replay the stock's price action from prior days. So we're doing that on the Weeble app here. It is a feature that a lot of people might not actually realize the app has the ability to do. And as of right now, you can't do this on the desktop platform, unfortunately. However, we're going to be showing you guys how to use this on the mobile app and then how you can essentially take this and use it as you see fit to kind of watch the price action and watch stocks that maybe you're looking at trying to trade next week, next month, tomorrow. It's good to kind of get a sense for the price action. So what I'm going to do here is I'm pulling up my Weeble mobile app. And if you want more information on how the mobile app works, the latest version, all that, we already have videos and a playlist dedicated to Weeble and tons of tutorials there. So check out that playlist here on the channel. It will be a great resource. But I'm on the mobile app. I'm on my watch list. So what I'm going to do here is I'm on a watch list, which is the bottom left tab on the app. Uh, I'm going to just look up any stock. I can go onto my list and pull up a stock here if I want to. Uh, and actually, that's what we're probably going to do. We could probably just use like Tesla, for example, in this case. But if I wanted to change that stock, I go up into the top, hit the search bar and type in any stock I want. They even have a hold to speak so you can actually just talk it in and, and you know, people will tell you or they'll pull up the stock chart uh, that they hear. So if I pull up Tesla really quick, what's going to give me, it's going to give me the quote. So now we have the quote of Tesla. We can see what the price action's been over different time frames, all that good stuff. You've got level two right here. If you pay for that, it's like an added feature. Um, we scroll down, we have, we have different things like, for example, auction crossing. We have the order flow distribution, large scale orders the past five days. And we have all the information, a lot of this information you get also on the desktop platform. But what you don't get on desktop, at least as of right now, when we're filming this video, is along the bottom. Okay, so see where it says trade? It has this uh, dollar sign. That's for your positions, if I have any current positions in Tesla. And then if I was to kind of scroll through on the next one, you have an alert system here where I can create an alert. I uh, get my you know alert triggered if Tesla goes above a certain level, below a certain level, this, that, and the other thing. But it's the third one across. It's this little chart this little chart box on the on the bottom, okay? It is the chart toolbox, okay? So from here, I can draw my chart, I can add layers, compare charts, look at different charts, overlay charts, change settings, but it's the replay feature that I think we want to dive deeper into. If I click on the replay button right there, it now turns my device on its side, and now what we have is we have a view of Tesla, and what I'm gonna do is it's actually gonna really going really fast through the past couple of days. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this up. So if I click on the pause button on the way left, okay, I pause it. There's a 60X, so right next to the end of the time frame where it says 60X, I'm gonna click on that and I can change the playback speed so I can kind of see this how it happened in real time. Or if I wanna see this kind of at 5X speed, I can go to 5X speed and it's gonna slow it down a little bit compared to what it was. And just like that, we can kind of see Tesla on 5X speed and it's going through the dates. Now there's a calendar feature in the bottom right. If I click on the calendar feature, I can go and just do this by day. So let's say I wanted to go back to a specific day let's say the 15th of December really interests me. I want to go back to that. I click on OK. And now when I play this, it's now going to show me Tesla as it opened up on the 15th. Look at the right-hand side. That is showing you the time in sales. That's showing you pretty much every single order that is coming through on Tesla and exactly at what time and how large, how many shares are going through. Okay, so the right-hand side is telling you how many shares. And if you scroll back to the left here on that right side, it tells you the price. And then to the far left of that little widget on the right, that's the exact time uh, you went using Eastern time, right? So 9.30, 9.32 we're seeing right now. And we have it on 5X speed. If I wanna go back to 1X speed, it'll show you kind of how it's going live, right? And then if I wanna speed things up, I obviously can go to 10X speed, I can go to 20X, I can do whatever I want, and I can see Tesla as it kind of evolves throughout the trading day. This is actually a really interesting tool that I think a lot of people are going to get a lot of benefits from. Why? It's because if you're trading stocks, it might make sense to get a feel for how the stock trades. Do we tend to see a morning dip followed by a push back to the upside? Do we see a pop and drop? Like, is there some that we can kind of take away from these different stocks that we're looking at? For example, Tesla in this case, is there something we can take away from these charts, from looking at the past history on certain days, how it traded, right? What exactly happened? And if we can take something away from that and use it in our own trading, that's awesome. One more thing on the bottom where it has the MACD. If I scroll this across here, you'll see how the MACD kind of develops throughout the day. If I tap on that, it'll change it to the RSI. As of right now, you can go between MACD and RSI. All you have to do is tap on the bottom indicator where it says MACD or RSI, and it'll change that up for you. 
And that's what he has to offer, at least as of right now, based on Tesla stock we're looking at right now. And it's a great way to utilize, let's say, the RSI or the MACD and say, okay, when Tesla gets down below this level, it generally likes to bounce because the RSI gets oversold, and that's where we like to see a curl back up to the upside on Tesla. And so that could be a great viable trading strategy that you might want to take advantage of. And had you not seen the past history, right, maybe you wouldn't have been able to take advantage of that going forward in the future. All right, there you guys have it. That is how to use the replay function and feature on the Weeble mobile app. We'll leave a link down below if you guys want to get signed up with the Weeble mobile app. If you don't already have one, that'll get you signed up when you deposit any amount. You'll get up to five free stocks. You'll also get up to $8,000 in free stock rewards plus five bucks in free crypto. Take advantage of that. Link in the pinned comment and description box if you have not done so already. If you want more Weeble tutorials, check out our Weeble playlist and that should be a great place to go in the future. Consider subscribing. Make sure the thumbs up button if you got something out of the video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.